Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a fun summery spring try on haul. So Eloquy Elements caught my eye with a certain yellow dress. I'll put a picture here on the screen. I was just scrolling, that may have been on Instagram or Facebook. I feel like once I saw it one time, I saw it everywhere. So they got me with this really pretty yellow florally like maxi length dress. So then of course I had to go to the website and take a look. So Eloquy Elements, if you're not familiar, is an Eloquy brand. It's just a more affordable line that they carry. And I've also seen it at Walmart as well. So you don't have to go to the Eloquy website to get it. Walmart sells some things as well. But this go round, I shopped from Eloquy Elements. They just had so much cute stuff, bright colors and florals, but not traditional floral patterns. It just really got me excited and reminded me that warm weather is where I thrive. So I've ordered quite a few things. I think seven or eight items. I spent 200 bucks flat. No sale was happening or anything. $200 for all of these items I feel like is a really good deal. The Eloquy Elements line is also way more affordable. So I have tried it once in the past. It was cooler weather because I remember trying sweaters. So I'll leave that video linked uh, down below. I did keep quite a few things after that one as well. So I'm excited to bring you this haul. I hope that you like it as well. Everything that you are about to see is linked in the description box down below. My measurements are there as well. I hope I ordered everything in the right size so that we can try it all on because one of these sets I'll show you first. It's a two piece set, you buy it separate, but it's so cute. I hope it works out. So let's get into the video. Subscribe if you're watching and you're not subscribed already. Like this video and let's get into it. Here we go. So this is the set I was referring to. I'll put a video here on the screen like I typically do. So I did buy these separately, like I mentioned. So the button front linen shorts were $22 and then the top was $22, so 44 bucks for this set. Well, it's definitely meant to be like a flowy set, not snug at all. So I do think, I feel like it's a little bit big. Like I should have sized down in the shorts and the top. I just wasn't sure because like I mentioned, it's meant to be flowy and I don't want anything that's snug. Like I want it to look how it's supposed to look. It's super cute. So it's got this elastic band here across the top and then the tie straps are thick enough to where I'm still wearing a bra. I appreciate that. And this elastic bit extends all the way around to the back. So the shorts are super high-waisted. They have these cute little pockets here in the front. They do actually button all the way up. And then they have an elastic band in the back. It's very comfortable though. Super comfortable, lightweight, very cute. The pattern, the colors are really, really pretty. I just think a size smaller would probably make me feel a little bit better. So one of the models online was wearing this blue button up knotted with these shorts to show this shirt. So I got it too because I thought if you liked the set, you could get the set and then just an extra top and you've got essentially two really cute looks out of it. Oh, it comes knotted as well. Okay, this is in a size 22. This one's called the Eloquy Elements Tie Front Button Down Shirt. It was $25. Okay, here we go. Let's unbutton a little bit more. That's cute, tied. And then I would probably roll these. This is cute as well, super comfortable. Matches the shorts pretty well. I love that it came knotted. You know, it makes it easier. It's when you want to style it and knot it and all that fun stuff. So here we go. I think this shirt was the right size. It's not pulling or anything here. And then I just tucked this extra bit, like just rolled it. I didn't actually tuck it. I just rolled it in the back. This is super cute, super comfortable. I like the shirt size. Again, I just think the shorts need to be one size smaller. And then I think that they would look a little bit nicer, lay a little bit nicer on me. Let's do the dress that started it all. So this is in a size 20. It is called the Eloquy Elements Puff Sleeve Fit and Flare Dress, $32. I will say right off the bat, I do know it's a little bit snug right here. It's pulling just a little bit. Also, I think a strapless bra is probably the best bet with this because this elastic here 
is not super tight. So I kind of had to pull my bra down a little bit so that you couldn't see it. And then from the back, you can see it. Also, you can tell it's a little bit snug. I thought this was yellow and white for some reason. And so it threw me off when I pulled it out. It's definitely yellow and pale pink. The style of this, like the silhouette of this is so pretty. It's got, you know, the snugger bust with the puff sleeve here. It's still snug on the arm. A little elastic band here, like slight elastic. And then the length of this is really, really nice. It's very comfortable as well. I feel like this is a great dress for $32. It's just, like I said, a little bit too snug. I think one size up would have probably been better. And then again, wear the uh, strapless bra with it instead of a regular bra. But overall, I think this is a really fun dress. I think this is such a pretty like spring summery look with some sandals. Not my favorite. And I think that's because the fit is a little bit off. But I do have a jumpsuit that's this same pattern, slight color variation that I think is going to be perfect. Okay, yeah, I think, is it see-through? I am wearing white underwear as well, so if it were see-through, it's, you know, a little bit hard to see through it because my underwear are white or pretty close to my skin tone color. So this is called the Crop Jumpsuit with Smocked Bodice, 36 bucks. I grabbed this one in a size 22. The color, yellow is my favorite color, by the way. If we didn't know that already, already, yellow just does something for me. The cut of this at the top is perfect. So it's thick enough, has the ruffle, covers my bra strap, and then it sort of dips in, but not where you're getting like side cleavage action. But it's just nice because it doesn't rub that inner part of your arm right now. Super stretchy here because it is that cropped not cropped, that uh, stretchy bodice. And then it looks like you're wearing a top, but it's actually attached. So here's the difference in color. It's the same yellow, but it has the white floral versus the light pink. Okay, I like this. It's very flowy feeling, very comfortable. I don't feel like it's snug anywhere. I feel like it fits really nice. The legs are cropped like they're supposed to be. Can you see straight through it in the video? I can't in the mirror right off camera, but when I look in the viewfinder, I feel like you can see white. Here we go from the back, looks the exact same, just a back view. I love the color, I love the print, I love the style of this. This right here I'm really impressed with. It just feels really nice, it's very comfortable. This could be a favorite so far. I just feel very summery, very girly, I'm just, I'm feeling it. All right, next we have this dress. It's funny because I placed my order and then like two days later, someone I follow, I wish I would have taken a screenshot of it. Someone I follow on Instagram, they have no earthly idea who I am, um, posted a picture in this exact dress with like black heely sandals and a little black bag, dressed it up and it was adorable and it made me even more excited for this. So this is in a size 22, it's called the Puff Sleeve Shirt Dress and it was $32. So here's a close up of the pattern, this really pretty green and that same light pink floral pattern as the dress. The sleeves are just short, they don't button or anything but they do come to a smaller opening to sort of fit and sit at your arms here. It is an actual button-up dress. I buttoned it all the way. It's like a t-shirt style button-up dress with this cute little tie here. This is so cute. As I was buttoning it, I'll be honest, I thought it was gonna be too small because it is a bit of a stretchy material, but also like a button-up shirt dress material. Um, but it fits really nice. I think the size was absolutely perfect. It's long enough in the back. It is like a shirt where it's a bit of a curved hem on the sides. I love that I don't have to roll the sleeves and they don't button, they're just there. That is like the sleeve of my dreams. <laughs> I just think that's so much easier than, I always struggle with buttoning something, rolling it, and then it's staying nice looking throughout the day. So this is ideal. I love this with some big gold hoops. You could dress it up. You could also put like white sneakers with it and dress it down if you wanted to. You can also remove the tie. If you just want maybe like a swimsuit cover up or something, you could dress this 
so many different ways. So we've got swimsuit cover-up, super casual. Wear it with the tie, with some sneakers, real casual. Dress it up with dressy sandals and a cute bag. And then you could even go a step further and do it super dressy with heels and a fancy bag and like dangly big statement earrings. I like this so much more than I thought I was going to. T-shirt dresses aren't my favorite, I guess, because the button usually doesn't work for me somewhere, whether it's in the chest or the hip area. But this button's flat all the way down and I have no issues. I like this. Yeah, this is cute. And last but certainly not least, we have pants. You can't see them here, so I'll put the video here. I chose to put this button up back on because I felt like it kind of could go with a lot of different things. So that's why. You could also do like a white tee, like tucked in would be cute as well. I kind of wish I would have gotten the matching top now just because it's such a pretty print. So I got these in a size 22. They are called the wide leg pants with a tie, $24. These are also the same fabric and feel of the jumpsuit bottoms, but I guess because they're red, you can't see through them. So they're actually long enough, a little bit too long to be honest, which is nice, a nice change for me. They do have pockets. It's an elastic band all the way around with a little tie in the front. These fit really nice. I think the size was a good size. They feel very like flowy and breezy and easy to wear. And I do think it looks pretty cute with the button up. It's like a very sophisticated, you could do like nude heels. You could also do white sneakers. Um, I would probably get them hemmed a little bit if I did choose to keep them because they're slightly long on me. So let's wrap this video up. My favorite is the green button up dress for sure. Absolutely love it. I've kind of told myself you can style this top several ways. So this is also nice. And I think it was like 25 bucks, which is not a bad deal. It's like a linen button up top. The knot is really cute in the front. The two piece set, the shorts with the tank top, I really liked in theory. I don't think it's, it's gonna work for me. I wanna say size down in that one. I'm typically like a 20 or 22. I wish I would have gotten the 20. I may have even could have gone with like an 18 because it was a little bit big, but just keep that in mind. Everything else I feel like size wise, with the exception of the yellow and light pink dress, I should have sized up. So. Hopefully that helps you out size wise. Eloqui Elements has really cute things. The quality is really nice. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I kept several things from my first like cooler weather haul that I did with them and they've held up really, really well. So everything that you've just seen is linked in the description box down below, as well as my measurements to help you figure out what size you think you may need. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorites in the comment section down below. And again, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up for this video and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.